Shane's a little bit grumpy this morning. And sleepy. Well, you don't have any reason to be sleepy. Let me tell them what happened to me. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. This morning, I woke up at, I don't know, 9.30, maybe, and being the wonderful husband, the loving, caring, thoughtful husband that I am, I laid there to allow my beautiful, lovely wife to get some more sleep. She loves to sleep in, I don't. So, I'm laying there thinking about life and my goals and ambitions and how time is just slipping away <laughs> like sand through my fingertips never to be given back to me so 10 30 arrives i've been laying there for an hour and i finally you know it's getting ridiculous like <laughs> we need to get things done today it's sunday so at, at, at 10 30 i say hannah like it's getting pretty late we should probably get up soon and Hannah wakes up and like begins stirring in bed. <laughs> and to be clear, I'm not, I'm not like upset in this moment. Yeah. I'm, I knew I was tired too, so the hour of laying there was fine. But <laughs> but just wait. <laughs> but, but Hannah, after a minute or two, goes, "Uh, it's eleven thirty." I was like, "What?" No, I'm looking at the clock. It's ten thirty. She goes, "No." My phone's is 11. I think it might have been daylight saving. <laughs> and I was like, it's 11.30? Oh. That's the latest I've ever woken up, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you were not happy about it at all. Whose fault is it that I didn't know it was daylight savings time? Ours? Something no. I'm it not, says it on your calendar. I'm not taking the blame for that one. I'm sure they said it on the news if we would have watched. My calendar didn't tell me. Every other year of my 28 years of living, <laughs> I've known precisely the day that Daylight Savings begins. Uh-huh. Not this year. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. We've told you before how much we love Skillshare for learning new skills and developing our existing interests. But another reason that we've been loving Skillshare recently is that it allows us to indulge our curiosity. Especially during this time when we're doing everything at home, Hannah and I have found it so useful and fun to be able to explore new topics on Skillshare. Lately, we've been taking the Fundamentals of Photo Editing course by Photo Essentials and Justin Bridges. Ken and I are not photographers by any stretch of the imagination. Speak for yourself. But we're very curious about photography, so it's been fun to learn through this class. If you're uncertain about what's next, creative challenges and productivity classes can be a great way to help you structure your time and set up achievable goals. At a time when so many important conversations are happening in our world, your voice is more essential than ever. Explore classes to unlock your creativity for social good. So whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or join a community of inspiration and support, Skillshare is the place to keep you learning. The first 1,000 of you to use our link in the description below will get a free trial of a Skillshare premium membership. After that, it's only like $10 a month. So check it out. It's a lot of fun and you're going to learn a lot. All right, everyone. We've been slighted. We have. We have been. You have been censored. I've been censored. Discriminated against. Yep. It's bad. And this, we're going to joke. We're going to laugh about it. Yeah. But this is a real issue. Yeah, this is actually really, really horrible. <laughs> we were really annoyed about it. And now we're going to tell you about it. And we're going to laugh. Yeah, but it's actually... It's actually bad. It's actually infuriating. And that's how we handle things that infuriate us. We laugh about them. Mm -hmm. But also, we want to make people more aware of these issues. Yeah. So that hopefully they um, stop. So we've heard in the past from other disabled people talking about how TikTok in particular has been a difficult app for them to be on, basically. That yeah. their videos were either taken down, flagged as being inappropriate. You know, they weren't getting into the algorithm. They were not being posted, stuff like that. Yeah, for no other reason than the fact that they were disabled. Yeah. And that always, you know, when you hear that, you're like, oh, that's terrible. Yeah. Like, but, and I always wonder, like, is that real? I know. Like, were they actually making, like, heinous content? Yeah. Are, just, you, like, are you lying? Blaming it on the fact that they were disabled? <laughs> um, 
were editing, and I didn't realize I was so good at beatboxing. <laughs> but we've heard whispers of that, basically. Yeah. And now, in our two days of doing TikTok... I know, we announced that we were going to do TikTok, and now here we are. <laughs> we come to you with proof that this is happening. And this has been going on for years. Like, yeah. we've been hearing about this for years, but we've never really been on TikTok until now. And... It's happened to us. Mm-hmm. So we're going to tell you what happened. We've posted, what, maybe like set six videos? Yeah. I so far, I don't know. So far, two of them have been removed, and two of them have been held for review upon posting before they're allowed to be seen by anybody. And this is solely because Shane appears in them as a disabled person. Now, we'll tell you about the first one that was removed. It had half a million views. It was doing really well. We yeah. were happy with it. If you didn't see the video, we'll describe it for you very briefly. Yes. It is, in my opinion, comedic genius. Sam loves this video. Okay, so it's a very short video. Hannah is holding a treat in a her hand. Treat. And oh, Sam... Not clear. Yeah. <laughs> and saying to no one... I'm saying to the camera. Right, sit. right. Yeah. Sit. Sit. Yeah. Sit. Okay? She's instructing someone to sit. Probably a dog. The camera turns... And you see me and Chloe. Chloe's sitting, and I am sitting. And we are looking at Hannah, smiling. Hannah walks forward with the treat, yeah. holds it out like she's going to give it to Chloe, and then turns at the last minute to give it to me. Yes. Ha, ha, ha. Well, I didn't give you the treat. I feel like that's Well, important. yeah, I didn't eat the dog treat. No, but it, it ended right before it, like, you know, it was clear that it was going to go in Shane's mouth. Right. She gives me the treat. I'm the one sitting. Yeah. Ha ha. Poor Chloe is like, uh, seriously. The irony, that juxtaposition. Oh, uh, we thought it was going to be the dog. Uh huh. It's hilarious, everyone. And some people had issues with it, even when you posted it on Instagram, which I think is funny because, like, you would have to, like, the idea of that is that it's a bad thing for you to be sitting. Like, you'd have to have really negative views of disability to be upset by that. Well, I think that, For you to be joking about your own wheelchair. Like, what? What? And I think that those people's comments are are representative of the the TikTok, like, algorithm yep. that ended up removing the video. Because, they <laughs> told us why, they removed it because it was bullying. It was bullying. Yeah. So, what happened was, I, I, and, and we're... We're guessing here because you can't really get answers from TikTok about this kind of thing. Yeah, but we we appealed it, and no such luck. Based on the comments and the fact that they said it was removed for bullying, we think that it was assumed that I, as the one in the wheelchair, had no part in the making of this video. Uh-huh. I was just a helpless victim yes. sitting there while an able-bodied person uh-huh. made a TikTok that made fun of the fact that I can't walk. And I think the best part of this is that at the same time we posted two videos, okay? The other video we posted is one where it's me smiling at the camera and it says, getting my husband's reaction to me without makeup on. Mm-hmm. It's like a parody of those videos where people are like, you know getting a re- my husband's reaction without me having makeup on. I think they're ridiculous, right? So I take my makeup off in the camera. I have no makeup on. <laughs> this is so funny. I'm dying. I go out just to get Shane's reaction, and he turns and looks at me. He screams, gags, and then pretends to die, okay? Like, it's just a silly video. Uh-huh. And that one, I feel like, is intense bullying of me. Of you. Poor me. To be, you died at the side of my face, and yet <laughs> it has not been removed that because was... it's assumed that I'm in on the joke, right? Yep, yep. And no one had any issues with that one. No one was like, this is extremely mean to her. No, but the one with me being the victim. Yeah. Air quotes around victim. You shouldn't joke about your really sad disability. It's shit. bullying and harassment for you. Yes. To TikTok because it's not right to make jokes about disability. Yep. Oh. And since then, every single one of our TikToks has been held for review yeah, before right. posting. If Shane's in it, it's held. We're in the, the, the doghouse. Yeah. Right now. So we're, we're like TikTok very quickly doghouse. giving up on our TikTok journey. We think it's stupid. And just to show you that this is not a new thing. I've had experience with this exact issue many years ago. I read yes. about it in was it my your book, I think. My first book? Mm-hmm. Was it? Yeah, I think it was in your first book. Anyway, if you're familiar with the site Reddit, 
Or was it in your second book? I don't remember. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. doesn't matter. Uh, if you are familiar with the site Reddit, um, Reddit is like a posting board where anyone can post funny photos or interesting news articles, really anything on the internet, yeah. you can post there. Uh, and then there's a voting system where people can upvote or downvote everything. And then you get on there and you enjoy all the wonderful content on the internet. Yeah. So, years ago, I did a photo shoot with kittens. Why I was doing it wasn't that... So, was it a photo shoot? It, it was. Did some, really? Yeah, it, it was used for um, uh, Lee Havelli Style magazine. Oh my god, <laughs> why don't we have a copy of that? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't matter. The photo shoot doesn't matter. <laughs> but I have all these photos of me... And I'm trying to find one for here. So I put it on Reddit under the... Aw, the cute. Under the... Yeah, there, there's a, a sorting system on Reddit called subreddits. So there's like the sports subreddit, the politics subreddit. I posted it under all A-W-W. Yeah, which is like cute stuff. It's just... It's animals, all animals. Animals. Yeah, It's all animals, animals. yeah. Um, and every subreddit has a list of rules that you must comply with to post there. You can't post like, a cooking abused video. Abused or abused animals. Yeah, yeah. They have rules like that. Yeah. Um, because they want it to remain a safe and happy place. So, I post me and the kittens smiling <laughs> on the all subreddit. And I title it, I have a disease called spinal muscular catastrophe. C A T. The but you're so pleased. You're just waiting for everyone to be like, oh, good one. Go ahead and pause, leave me a comment, let me know how funny that is. Hilarious, okay? Really good. I it began to blow up like hundreds of thousands of upvotes. Uh it gets onto the front page of Reddit, which is like a lifelong goal of mine, and I achieved it, and I was so happy. And I went back an hour later to look at it, see how it was doing, and it said removed. I was like, what? What, 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 what? And I looked further, and it says, it gave the rule that I had violated, and it said, no sad content allowed on this subreddit. And I was, like, 20 at the time. Yeah. And, like, hadn't experienced ableism in all of its blurry yet mm -hmm. but man my stomach sank yeah i was like so they just the sight of you was deemed, so sad yeah yeah they deemed my image of me smiling with kittens and a witty play on words as sad. sad what i was like no i'm happy <laughs> and i was not able to appeal but if i turned out they'd been like i did a photo shoot with kittens I'm so happy. I know. I mean, the alternative <laughs> is for you to never post a photo of yourself yeah. because it upsets other people. Because it's assumed that it must be sad. Yeah. Because I have a disability. Yeah. That's not true. No. We have 300 plus videos here proving that my life is not a tragedy uh -huh. just because I'm disabled. Ah. Shane's annoying, everyone. It makes me really yell. I know. But yeah, so now it's happening on TikTok. Yep. We're going to try to keep posting on there, but if they keep removing videos... I mean, yeah, it's not worth the effort if they're going to remove them. And just, like, the idea that you can't possibly create something funny or you can't poke fun at yourself. Oh, yeah. Like, it's just it's just not equal treatment, like, by any stretch of the imagination. So, head over there, give us an upvote. Well, you're not going to see the videos that have been removed, so... <laughs> You saw them because we put them on. True. Our, they're in our last video. Oh, yeah, they're in our last video. I bet, I didn't read the comments, but I bet lots of people were like, that's mean at the sitting one. Maybe, but just remember, hmm. I was the one making yeah. that joke. So. Now this is, and if that makes you uncomfortable, if Shane making a joke about his wheelchair makes you uncomfortable, and you think that that was over the line or not funny, uh, you should think about why you would think that, why you don't want him to make a joke that he is sitting all the time, that yeah. he sits 
It's a funny joke. I'm just gonna be like, it's not even a mean joke. But I, I it's not, like, I honestly don't even understand how anyone could possibly think that it's over the line. If if the joke was like, all people in wheelchairs are stupid. Yeah. Then, or if we then, were going yeah. up, if we were going up to random people that we saw in wheelchairs and saying sit and handing yeah. them a dog treat, oh, yeah, that's totally t- offensive, horrible, really bizarre. Who would do that? But for you to sit in your living room next to your dog. Like, I don't even understand how someone thinks that that is offensive yeah. or mean. Society really believes they it. They really think that it's just, you okay. shouldn't talk about that. It's obviously a lot. It's horrible. <laughs> just keep it to yourself. <laughs> just stay off and take that. You don't want to joke about that. <laughs> you must be really sad. Yeah, really annoying. So we're frustrated. The video that uh, I like to handle is makeup and it kills me has <laughs> over 8 million views. We're, we're really proud of that. And you know what? There are so many comments on there from people being like, that's so funny. How has your husband never seen you without makeup? I actually, it's like anti, I was expecting it to be really ableist comments. No one has said like, that's your husband? Yeah, and I was expecting nope. that. Yeah. Plus we get that all the time. But yeah. all the comments are like, wait a minute, he's never seen you without makeup? I don't understand how these people go through life and like see that video where I take off like a minuscule amount of makeup. And then he pretends to die. And gag. And gag. And, like, they're like, but he's never seen you. Like, I don't even understand. Hi, everyone. Uh, uh, we're going to stick to YouTube. Yeah. It's been fun. We like YouTube. We've never had a video removed on YouTube. We've never had a video So removed. thumbs up to YouTube for not censoring disabled people. For understanding that disabled people can and do self-deprecate. Yep. Just like everybody else. Is self-deprecate, can that be a verb? Yeah. That made it a verb. To, Self-deprecating. To deprecate. To deprecate. I don't know. Deprecate sounds inappropriate. Sounds like pooping. Oh, oh <laughs> no. Deprecate. I have to self-deprecate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, bye everybody.